So we're at the water uh, this evening to uh, Sea Trail two boats. One's this Bayliner 288. Uh, both these boats are sold, but uh, people do seem to like to see how they, they run on the water. So that's why we do the Sea Trail video. So um, there'll be a separate Sea Trail video for this little Bayliner, the, sorry, this bigger Bayliner, the 288 Flybridge. See how that runs. Um, and the other boat is a Bayliner 185 that we've already done a sea trail video on but there was a few problems with the boat so we had to um, make a few, do a few repairs, change a few bits and pieces and we're just running the boat now to, to verify everything's good. We're doing a, like a virtual sea trail for the buyer so I'll show you that now but what an evening for it. Lovely evening here and uh, we're going to get, this boat's already been run so we're going to get it onto the trailer and out of the water here now. Then we're going to take the, the 185 out for a spin. We're on the water again in this uh, Bayliner 185. Now this boat is now sold. We, we did a full video tour and a sea trail video um, a couple of months ago. And on that video, the steering was very heavy and uh, a lot of the gauges weren't working. Some of the switches were messing around as well. So um, the deal was whenever we sold the boat, we were gonna sort all this out. That was all part of the deal. So we put a new steering cable into the boat we put um, more or less a full new suite of gauges on board, bar a couple of ones that were, were, that were working. We've replaced some of the switches as well and uh, basically left the boat sort of pretty much as good as we can get it for the, for the coming season. We also found a wee uh, oil leak on the gearbox that we fixed and while we had that opened up we put a new water pump propeller in there as well. So this is all part of the, the service that we, we can offer. You know, if, you're, if you are looking at a boat, there's a few wee things that are annoying you about it then it's not a problem for us to sort those as part of a deal as long as the, the you know the buyer and seller can sort of uh, agree uh, terms whenever it comes to taking care of that stuff. So this is another quick sea trail video showing you how this boat's now running with finger light steering and a full working dash on it. Okay so trim down, here we go. Jumps on the plane in no time. And now the steering is super light. So one finger. So steering is perfect. Take a look at the, the dash, the volt meter, show 13 volts, oil pressure's good, speedo's working, we're doing 30 miles an hour at about 2,500 RPM, trim gauge is working as well, temperature gauge is working at 175, and the fuel gauge is working too. All the switches are all replaced, they're all working perfect, door motor built up, boop boop, more nav lights. We've got a fully operational dash. And it's much easier to drive now. So we'll swing her around and uh, give her a wee full speed run here.
so there you go. This is a, a great running boat, now totally sorted. The only thing I did notice actually is that the calibration must be off on the tackle because it was only getting up to like three and a half thousand RPM full throttle, whereas it's doing 55 miles an hour in the speedo, so she's really doing about 5,000 or 5,000 RPM plus. That's just a wee setting on the back of the tackle. It's obviously set to the wrong engine configuration. You can set it for four cylinder, six cylinder, or eight cylinder, so it's just obviously set, probably set to V8 instead of V6. So we'll change that, but it's working fine. Speedo's working, oil pressure's working, temperature gauge is all working. Uh, so full suite of working instruments, full suite of working switch gear, and the boat's just run perfect. These Bayliner 185s are a brilliant boat, especially with a V6 engine. They're up on the plane in an instant, and they run right up to 55 miles an hour in the Speedo, this one's doing. Um, so really good water sports platform. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this little video to show you the sort of service that we can provide. A lot of people see boats advertised, and we do go to great lengths to point out all the little faults with faults with them, uh, just so people know what they're buying. But a lot of people seem to think, oh, well, I can't buy that because that's got these, this, that, and the other fault. But we can sort these things out um, as part of the service, so it's not a problem. So this one, new steering cable, new dash, new switches, and it's all great. And it's a beautiful evening here for a giant. This is the 29th of January. You don't often get evenings like this. We have a sunshine, the water's flat calm, it's not even that cold, so we're not getting rain going for a change, which is great. This is where we find out if I'm good enough to be able to park this boat on a trailer with one hand whilst holding the camera and the other <laughs> in fading light. Give it a bash here, see how we go. Keep an eye on our depth, still good. Wasn't too bad. I reckon I would have done a bit better with the two hands as well. There we go, mission complete. I spoke too early about the weather. It just couldn't give us a couple of hours rain free. But another week done, 